Welcome to our latest adventure. Are you tired of the same old boring touristy spots? Well, then this video is definitely for you. We're taking you off the beaten path and showing you the most unique and exciting things to do in Zagreb. From hidden gems to cultural experiences, this video has it all. So buckle up and get ready to explore Zagreb like never before. Trust us, you won't be disappointed. Zagreb, the capital city of Croatia, boasts a rich cultural scene that often goes unnoticed amidst the country's stunning coastline and beaches. It serves as a bridge between the old and new world, making it a must-see destination for first-time visitors and even experienced travelers to the Balkans. Zagreb's cultural offerings remain entertaining and relevant, cementing its status as the cultural capital of Croatia. The blend of traditional allure and contemporary vibrancy is easily noticeable. I experienced a sense of time travel while admiring the panoramic view of red-tiled roofs and cathedral steeples from the historic walls of medieval Gornji Grad, Upper Town. The scenery could have been from any era in the past few centuries without any reference. Upon closer examination, I discovered that modern-day Zagreb can also be found in Donji Grad, where you can find interesting museums, delicious Croatian cuisine, and even a ramen shop. Additionally, the Croatian National Theatre adds to the cultural scene of Zagreb. Zagreb adventure could be initiated at Trg Bana Jelacica, the primary square where the upper and lower towns converge. Tkalceceva Street, known for its vibrant ambiance, is also located here and offers a plethora of options for cafes, restaurants, and shops. If you're interested in museums, Zagreb is the place to be, as it boasts some of the most exceptional ones. Discover the top-rated tourist spots and activities in Zagreb, Croatia, with our comprehensive guide. Explore the city's most popular attractions and must-see sites to make the most of your trip. Number 7. Take a stroll through Zagreb's upper town. Zagreb's Gornji Grad is an ideal place to capture the city's vibe, featuring charming cobblestone streets and red-tiled roofs. Exploring the narrow pathways with stone walls will take you on a journey back in time, but the joyful sounds of kids playing soccer in the street will bring you back to the present. Gornji Grad boasts an impressive number of historical sites within the city, including historic churches and unique museums. Don't miss out on taking a leisurely stroll down to Kalsikeva Street, renowned for its vibrant colors and lined with charming cafes, eateries, and boutiques. Be sure to check out Capitol Square, featuring numerous buildings dating back to the early 17th century, and the bustling Dolak fruit and vegetable market. St. Mark's Church is undeniably remarkable, mainly due to its brightly colored tile roof that displays the coats of arms of Croatia, Dalmatia, Slavonia, and Zagreb City. Don't forget to step inside to admire the breathtaking interior, featuring statues crafted by the renowned Croatian sculptor Ivan Mestrovic and frescoes painted by Jozo Kliakovic. Number 6. See the treasures at Zagreb Cathedral. The Zagreb Cathedral was constructed on the location of an earlier building that was devastated by the Tartars in the early 1200s. The existing cathedral, renowned for its intricately adorned twin spires, was established in the latter half of the 13th century. However, numerous changes and upgrades have been carried out since then, resulting in significant changes to the building. The cathedral underwent severe damage during the earthquake of 1880, causing destruction to the dome and bell tower. However, the reconstruction efforts were successful in preserving the original medieval design. Don't forget to explore the cathedral treasury, which houses an impressive collection of religious art, garments, and sacred objects. It's a short stroll from the cathedral to Trg Bana Jelacica, where you can discover a range of excellent restaurants for lunch. Among them is Rouge Moran, a smaller version of its well-known larger restaurant. The menu features a mix of Croatian and Mediterranean cuisines with international touches, such as Japanese-style fried chicken and fluffy pita boats filled with mozzarella cheese called steak tacos. For some outstanding people watching, sit outside. There is a restaurant called Torakaya Ramen Bar situated nearby, which offers delicious bowls of ramen noodles in rich broths. Rest assured, you won't have to worry about not having enough to eat during your visit to Zagreb. Number 5. Visit the Museum of Broken Relationships. This museum in Zagreb stands out among the rest due to its unique concept that I found intriguing. It is solely dedicated to displaying keepsakes that depict tales of heartbreak and failed love. 
I enjoyed this museum the most as I had never come across anything similar before. The Museum of Broken Relationships is located in the center of Gornji Grad and can be toured in under an hour. The museum comprises four separate all-white rooms, with each room representing a different kind of heartbreak. The items displayed in the museum have been donated by past partners and ex-lovers from all over the world. Each item is accompanied by a short story detailing the end of the relationship and why the object is meaningful. Don't forget to visit the gift shop before leaving and grab an I Heart Breakups tea. Additionally, the museum offers an outdoor cafe with seating on the sidewalk. Number 4. Climb Lauterskak Tower The Lauterskak Tower, situated at the southern gate of the Gradek Town Wall, was constructed in the 13th century. It is an iconic landmark of Zagreb. According to the legend, the massive, square, Romanesque tower housed a bell that rang every night before the gates closed, alerting the people outside the walls to return before the gates shut. Those who failed to do so had to spend their night outside. During the 19th century, the tower was renovated with the addition of a fourth floor and windows. Furthermore, a cannon was placed on its roof, which is fired every day at noon to this day. Visitors can explore the tower and enjoy breathtaking views of the city. Additionally, there is an exhibition gallery and gift shops available for tourists to visit. When I visited Gornji Grad in May 2023, a significant portion of the area was undergoing construction work in anticipation of the upcoming summer season. Consequently, a lot of the attractions were only accessible from the outdoors. Number 3. The Museum of Mimara, also known as Muzej Mimara, was established back in 1972 to showcase a collection that was donated by a private collector named Ante Topic Mimara. The museum is located in an architectural marvel, the Neo-Renaissance Building of 1895, which was constructed specifically for this purpose. The collection is quite extensive and includes a diverse range of items from different locations and time periods. The museum boasts an impressive archaeological collection that showcases artifacts from various parts of the world, including ancient Egypt, Mesopotamia, Persia, the Middle East, the Far East, and India. It also features a glass collection from European and Mediterranean regions and a range of furniture and sculptures from the Middle Ages and ancient Greece. Notably, the museum's collection also includes items from Inca and pre-Inca South America. The art collection comprises paintings created by renowned artists from various countries, Dutch artists Rembrandt and Ruisdael, Italian artists Raphael and Veronese, Flemish painters Rubens and Van Dyck, and Spanish painters Velázquez and Goya are among them. French and English artists are also featured in the collection, including Renoir, Degas, Boucher, and Delacroix. Additionally, the collection boasts notable sculptures by Auguste Rodin and Jean-Antoine Houdon. Number 2. See a performance at the Croatian National Theatre, the Croatian National Theatre, also known as Hrvatsko Narodno Kazaliste, was constructed in 1895 by Hermann Helmer and Ferdinand Fellner, Viennese architects. It is located in the Donji Grad area of Zagreb's Green Horseshoe and is a famous landmark in the lower town. Emperor Franz Joseph officially opened the Grand Yellow Building in Trg Marsala in 1894. The edifice is designed in neo-baroque and rococo styles, featuring two petite domes in the front and a bigger one towards the rear. Its interior is adorned with exquisite artwork by Vlaho Bukovac and The Well of Life by Ivan Mestrovich. If you get a chance, do attend one of the frequent opera, ballet, or drama performances held at the venue. Number 1. The City Museum The City Museum, located in the upper town of Zagreb, comprises the Convent of St. Clair, a tower built in the 1100s, and a granary constructed in the 17th century. It is situated along the eastern wall of the town and has been functioning since 1907. The museum has 12 collections that consist of nearly 75,000 artifacts. The collections showcased at the City Museum provide a comprehensive overview of Zagreb's history. The exhibits comprise various historical pieces, including documents, maps, art, and archaeological finds. The highlight of the museum is a remarkable scale model of the old town of Gradec. Apart from this, the museum also offers interactive exhibits that cater to children's interests, such as hands-on workshops and a playroom. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other recent videos from 10 Minutes Travel.
and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.